So now we're going to move down the chain a bit from the kidneys to the ureter. And this shows in this slide here the common areas where the ureter gets hurt tends to be down lower. And that's because, because of its protection, it's rarely, you know, getting injured from other things except things that we do. Hysterectomies, colorectal surgery, laminectomy, vascular, all of our you know, GU surgeries are the cause of most of the ureteral injuries. So we're the bad guys. But there are some penetrating injuries like a gunshot, stab wounds that can cause that. Avulsions from, you know, like a car accident, lacerations, blast injuries, internal or external beam radiation. And oh yeah, how about kidney stones? How many ureters have had issues where they, they're leaking because of a blockage from a stone? So the signs and symptoms, typically you're gonna see blood in the urine. Post-operatively, because a lot of these, remember, occur after surgery, fever, pain, ileus. And then if we look at an ultrasound, we'll see hydronephrosis, we'll see urinary leakage on CAT scan. Penetrating trauma should have a high index of suspicion, but the urinalysis can be negative in about 15% for blood. IVPs are not always that sensitive. Distribution, as we talked about before, most have some other trauma associated with them. So again, I think this picture is pretty clear. This is our, our, our kidney and there's our urine. And right here is a, a little urinoma where urine's been leaking out of the, the ureter, so it's filling in that cavity. So extravasation of urine, abnormal ureteral position, organs are getting pushed by that collection. Those are all seen on CAT scan indicating a ureteral trauma. The best thing is to prevent it. So sometimes it makes sense to maybe do a CT and make sure you know where things are at. More commonly have um, pre-op ureteral catheters placed, you know, especially some of the, the gynees like to have those in place when they're doing hysterectomies for cancer because everything kind of starts to feel the same down there. The urologist needs to be careful how much they're yanking and stripping and pulling on these things. Um, the goal in treatment, again, is to restore continuity. And early recognition is very helpful to, to get in there early, repair and drain. Remember, leaking urine, you may need a Penrose to get that leaking urine out so you don't have a urinoma forming. And in most cases, putting in a uh, uh, stent would be the most reasonable thing to do if you can get a stent in. But we're going to watch for abscess, stricture, fistulas, ileus, kind of the same things we saw with the renal. 